Kia ora kids, my name is Grace. Welcome to Church Online. I'm one of the kids hosts and I'm so glad that you are here. We're starting a new series today. It's all about helping us overcome obstacles that we might face in life. It's called More Than Conquerors. Anyways, enough for now. Let's take a sneak peek at what's coming up. Hey kids, well, it's game time. For today's game, we have some past contenders. Please welcome back to the show, Mr. Moo Moo the Cow. Yay! And versing him today, his arch nemesis, Mr. Boo Boo Honey Bear. Yay! Today's game is called the Tower of Babel. Our contestants are gonna have 30 seconds to make a cup tower as tall as they can. Whoever makes the tallest tower in 30 seconds will win this cutout of Jesus. Let the games begin. Right, kids, I think we had a clear winner there. Let's drum roll. The winner of today's game, the Tower of Babel, is Mr. Honey Boo Boo Bear, taking home our cutout Jesus today. Here you go, Mr. Honey Boo Boo Bear. Enjoy, enjoy. Well, kids, I think that's enough gaming for today. Let's get on with the show. As I said earlier, today we're going to be learning what it means to be more than a conqueror. And for today, we're learning all about fear. Hi, Grace. Hi. Are you, are you okay? No, I'm not. What's wrong? Well, to be honest, I have a big battle coming up mm -hmm. and I'm really afraid. Oh, what, what are you afraid of? Well, all kinds of things. Getting hurt in battle, oh. being left alone, mm. not even knowing what's going to happen. Oh, man. It sounds like you have a real case of fear. Yep, that's me. I'm filled with fear. Oh. I think I'll just quit. No, you can't quit, you can't give up, don't back down. In fact, I believe that God can help you through this, that you could be more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror, really? Yeah, um, do you think you'd mind sticking around for our Bible story? It might encourage you and help you. Oh yeah, okay, I guess I can do that. Awesome, all right kids, let's head into our story for this week. Today's Bible story is found in the book of Esther. We hear about a Jewish woman whose name was Esther and how she saved her entire nation from an evil man named Haman. Now, she had to overcome her fear and even put her own life at risk. But she didn't let fear stop her from doing what God called her to do. Let's check out today's story. Today, the story of Esther. King Xerxes desires a new queen. Let a search throughout the kingdom be made for some beautiful young women. Have them all brought to a palace in Susa. The one that pleases King Xerxes the most will become queen. Mordecai, have you heard the news? The king has chosen me to be his queen. He chose me. Yes, my cousin Esther, you, you have been chosen. But do not forget that we are Jews from the tribe of Benjamin. Many people in this country hate you, so I warn you not to tell anyone that you are a Jew. I will not tell anyone, not even the king himself. Sometime later, Haman, an enemy of the Jews, persuades the king to issue a command against the Jews. I have a message from Haman, noble of King Xerxes. This message is written in the name of the king and is stamped with his royal seal. On the appointed day... All loyal subjects of King Xerxes are commanded to destroy, kill, and wipe out all of the Jews. This includes young people, 
old people, women and children. You may also take any belongings of the Jews as your own. Mordecai fears for his life and the lives of all the Jews. He goes to Queen Esther to see what she will do. Esther, have you, have you heard the order from the king? It commands his people to destroy the Jews. You must try to go see the king and make an appeal for our people. But Mordecai, there's a law that no one may approach the king without being sent for. If I approach him, I could be put to death. You, you live in the king's palace, but you are still a Jew. What if you say nothing? You and your family will die. It's possible that you became queen for a time just like this. All right. Gather all of the Jews and fast for my benefit. Don't eat or drink anything for three days. Then I'll go to the king, even though it's against the law. If I have to die, I'll die. After three days, Esther goes to see the king. Queen Esther, I'm pleased to see you. What is it? What do you want? King Xerxes, I hope that you will show me your favor. I hope that you will think that what I'm asking is the right thing to do. I hope that you are pleased with me. If you are, and if it pleases you, please let an order be written so that the Jews will not be killed. Please spare my people. That is my appeal to you. I will give this to you. Write another order in my name. Do it for the benefit of the Jews. Stamp the order with my seal. The king sends his royal messenger to announce a new command. On the appointed day when the Jews are to be killed, all Jews may gather together and fight for their lives. If the Jews are attacked, they may destroy, kill, and wipe out their attackers and take the goods belonging to their enemies. The Jews were victorious over their enemies, and Mordecai declares, Let all the Jews celebrate this day when we got rest from our enemies. This is the month when our sobbing turned into celebrating. We will celebrate with good food and with presents to one another and to the poor. So, what did you think of that? Well, I thought Esther was really brave. She was, wasn't she? She she was a conqueror. <gasps> she was? Yeah. But she still had fears. Conquerors can still have fears. The difference is that conquerors know how to overcome their fears and do what God has called them to do. Mm-hmm. I know that... God wants me to lead my army, and I know it's the right thing to do. And even if I still have fears, God is with me. That's right. I think you're doing it. You're overcoming your fears. You can now be called more than a conqueror. I'm so excited. I'm going to go conquer my fears now. Okay, awesome. Bye. Hey, guys. Why don't we head on and check out an experiment that teaches us what fear can do in our lives. Hello, kids! It's me, Yolanda. I'm back. I missed you. Anyways, I heard that you're learning about fear. I can help you with this. You see, God in the Bible actually has told us that He wants us to be a light of the world. He wants us to shine in the dark places. And He's given us that light. But you know what? Fear can come into our life. And it can put out that light. This is how it does it. Now, for this experiment, you'll need some lit candles. Make sure mom and dad are helping supervise. And to represent fear today, I have some baking soda and some vinegar. That's what we're going to do. Now, fear, let's talk about it. It's not something you can see. You know, when you walk down the road, you don't go, ah, fear, watch out. No, fear is something you can feel. When you see something that makes you afraid, you feel scared to put some vinegar in it. See, even though you cannot see fear, it can put out the light God has given to you. When I mix some baking soda with vinegar, it's going to fizz up, but it's going to create an invisible gas that I'm going to pour over this light. You ready? Oh my goodness! Visible gas is being formed. Watch this. And that's what fear does in our lives. Even though we cannot see fear, fear can have the power. And it can put out the light that 
God has put in our lives. So make sure that next time you feel fearful, you ask God, help me, Lord, to overcome this fear. You know why? Because you are more than a conqueror. I hope you enjoyed today's experiment. Don't forget it. Even though you can't see fear, you can feel it. But don't let it put out your light. Goodbye. Hi kids! My name's Charlotte. And I'm Maya. And today we're going to teach you guys a scripture verse. It's from the book of Romans 8 verses 37. Let's teach you guys the action. Okay, now the first action is no. And the second action goes in all things. Let's do that all together. No. no. In all things. Okay, now after that we go no. In all things we are more than conquerors. Let's do that all together one more time. No, in, in all, all things, things we are more than, than conquerors. conquerors. And the last action goes, through him who loves us. We're going to do that one more time. Are you ready, Maya? Yeah, are you guys ready? One, two, three. No, no in all, all things we are more than conquerors. Through him who loves us. Great job. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Well, it's quiz time. I hope you guys have been listening and can answer these questions. Today's quiz is going to be an unscrambled quiz. I'm going to ask you a question and the answer will appear on the screen, but in the wrong order. And let's see if you can say what the answer is before it's put back in the right order. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Question number one. Our new theme is more than what? Hmm. More than conquerors. Good job if you got that one right. Number two. Today we learned how to overcome what? Hmm. That's right. Fear. We learned how to overcome fear. Question number three. The name of the queen in today's Bible story was. Hmm. Her name again. Esther! I hope you got that one right. Question number four. Haman wanted to kill all the. Hmm. All the who? The Jews! Hope you got that right too. All right, we're nearly done. Question number five. Esther risked her life and went to see the. Who? Who did she go and see again? Hmm. The king. She went to see the king. Question number six. Esther's courage saved all her... Who? Hmm. What did it save? People. It saved all her people. All right, guys. Hope you're doing good so far. Here's the last question. Question number seven. Our Bible verse for this series comes from the book of... Hmm. What book was it again? The book of Romans. Oh, guys, I hope you did really well and tried your best. That's it for our quiz today. Well, hey, kids, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned something about fear that maybe you didn't know before. Well, we've been getting photos sent in from you guys from watching our show and I just got to say keep it up because we love it. Now before you go, I just want to pray with you. When I say one, two, three, I want you to do this. One, tap your knees. Two, fold your arms. And three, bow your head and close your eyes. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's pray. One, two, three. Father God, I thank you that you love us. I thank you that sometimes we might get fearful, but you are always with us. I thank you that you help us overcome our fears and be more than conquerors. Help us this week, no matter what we face. In Jesus' name, amen. It was so good hanging with you guys today. Kakitano.